Hi, this is Todd Hurt, Product Manager at West Penn Wire today at our West Penn Wire workshop. Today we're going to take a look at uh, balance and the balance that uh, West Penn Wire has, has to offer. The first thing we'll look at is a balun. A balun is a device that converts balanced 100 ohm twisted pair cable to an unbalanced 75 ohm coaxial cable. Hence the term balun. Bal for balance, un for unbalanced. There's many benefits uh, to using balance in a CCTV system. There is lower material cost. Um, category cables, category 5E, category 6, typically cost less than an RG59 or an RG6 uh, coaxial cable. Reduced installation time. Uh, you know, an RJ45 plug um, compared to putting a compression or a crimp style BNC connector on a coax, uh, you can put a plug on a lot quicker. Also, the punch downs, the IDCs, and the clamp down for the bounds are uh, some toolless uh, connections. Long cable uh, and signal runs. In a UTP system, um, using bounds, we can get distances up to uh, around 2200 feet passive to passive bound, uh, bound to bound uh, systems. And that's right around an RG11 style. Now there is some compromise in system quality or signal quality uh, in a UTP system, but the cable runs can be long. More versatility. Uh, that goes with the next bullet, which is future-proofing our IP cameras. Uh, the versatility comes with um, upgrading the systems or just running, running a Category 5E cable or Category 6 cable uh, a Category 5, those those style cables can be used for multiple applications. Networking, which they're primarily used for, but also video, audio, and uh, some other applications. So the versatility of the cable uh, is where that comes in. And if you want to switch from an analog camera to an IP digital camera in the future, well, that can be done very easily just switching out the camera. Looking at a system design, and the system, this system design is, is fairly easy. You have, first off, you have an analog 75 ohm camera. It's 75 ohm, so we want to convert that to 100 ohm, so we have to place a balun uh, between the camera and the 100 ohm twisted pair cable. That balun then would convert the 75 ohms to 100 ohms. We're able to transmit our signal over the 100 ohm cable. We need to, to get that impedance back to 75 ohms, so we put another balun in that line, uh, changing the 100 ohm back to 75 ohm. Then it would go into a DVR uh, or a multiplexer, and then into our monitor. Looking at some of West Penn Wire's balance that we have to offer, uh, the first is 75 ohm BNC, either a male or female, to a 100 ohm RJ45 jack. And we have a couple different style here. The first one is CN-BNCJ, is a female BNC on one end, the camera side, and an RJ45 jack on the other side. So at the camera side, we would have to uh, utilize a BNC to BNC cable assembly from the camera to the balun. On the equipment side, or the 100 ohm side, we would have to uh, put an RJ45 plug on our category cable and plug it in to our jack. The CN-BNC-JK is also another 75 ohm female to an RJ45 jack, but this is a keystone mount, so if you want to mount this into a keystone wall plate, uh, this is uh, the bound that is needed. The third on the BNC um, to RJ45 jack is the CN-RJ45. Now this has a 75 ohm BNC male, which you would connect this bound directly into the camera, and the conversion uh, would take place right at the camera. And on the other end, we would have to uh, put on an RJ45 plug to plug into the 
RJ45 jack. Looking at our <coughs> clamp down version balance, uh, 75 ohm BNC to 100 ohm clamp down. IDC. IDC is insulation displacement connector. First is a CN-MTL and this is a 75 ohm BNC male to a clamp down and it's really our miniature toeless. Uh, it's a small design uh, ballon without an external hood but we just simply place the cables uh, on the equipment side or twist a pair into the appropriate clamps and we clamp it down uh, to perform the IDC connection. Then we have a CN-TL which is the C uh, 75 ohm BNC male to the 100 ohm IDC clamp down. Very similar to the MTL um, but it has an external hood as you can see uh, that will enclose the the connection point of the clamp down. We have a pigtail version, a CN-RJ45PT. The same thing happens here. Uh, the 75 ohm BNC male will connect into the uh, camera. And then at the other end we have our clamp down. But it's just a pigtail. It gives you a little bit more versatility. And if you're in areas of uh, where space is a premium, um, you can get this BNC connector uh, on the camera. Our last versions of our CCTV balance, passive balance, is our 75 ohm BNC to 100 ohm screw terminals. The first one is a CN-MTL2. And we sell these in, up in pairs. It's a 75 ohm BNC male to 100 ohm screw terminals. Um, so at the camera side, we would connect this directly to a camera. And on the equipment side, they're screw terminals for 100 ohm balance cables. If you need a pigtail version of this, we have our CN-STPT2. Again, sold in pairs. Pigtail, the BNC male would connect to the camera and the screw terminals for the 100 ohm. We also have balance that not only perform or pass through video uh, through our 100 ohm cable, but also pass through power. And this part number would be a CN-PVRJ45. Uh, this is a 75 ohm uh, male BNC that would connect directly to a camera. But there's an extra lead or an extra wire um, for our power through. So all we have to do is strip and connect that to our power terminals on our camera. There are some distance limitations on the power. It depends on the, the voltage of uh, the camera and what it's uh, operating at. Also, we have balance that will perform uh, video, power through it, and also data or control. So if you have a pan, tilt, and zoom camera with also power, we have that balance. And this part number is a CN-VPDRJ45. So it has a 75 ohm uh, male BNC connector, uh, two leads or two pairs, um, one for power, one for control or data. So we just have to strip and connect these to the power terminals and the control terminals on our um, camera. On the equipment side it's an RJ45 jack so we have to uh, put a plug on our category 5 cable. So looking at the pin configuration of these um, there's two different styles. We have a 568A and a 568B and if you're familiar with networking um, this is how we put a plug on. Um, basically, what I'm showing here is the power and the video and the data control go through separate pairs. Uh, in this case, the video would go through the brown and white brown. The power would be the orange and the white orange, the green and the white green, and our data control would go through our blue, white blue. Now on a cable or on a ballon uh, like our PVRJ45, we would have the video go through the brown pairs uh, and the power we would put all three pairs the orange the blue and the green together to power up the camera and that concludes today's uh, balance session uh, if you need to contact me it's thurt at westpen-wpw.com thank you